damage comes swarming in after that. It's actually a lot of good control when you have these two mages like Swain and Victor, which are mid-range. Right. Yeah. DSM can usually act on when they squeeze their enemies right under their own turret. Whoop. Looks like they may actually get Prox in. There it is. Squeeze them in, force them behind, and pincer them. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many arrows you airball. It's where you go down, and how did he catch me? It's 405 to 409. Oh. Uh oh, Seraph actually, he, no move speed gonna help him uh, as he's in combat, but he's just gonna walk right out of his trundle. Bjergsen wants to chase him. That's the Chaos Storm, they finish it off. It looked like he actually had a good path out. Looks like he'll get half health. They look to answer though. This is when the timer gets a little behind for yeah. them. And they're trying Door to, number two. <laughs> trying to act on everything. When TSM gets a chance to react, they're always on the right end of the play, and that's going to be Lod and Hakuo going down as they only get half health on the second tier. You can try and fire the ultimate in, or even He's send his time. body in. He does have they need flash. vision. They can go for the steal. Ninja gets there. Does nobody have a ward? Smite fight! Ninja, put your ward in. You have a far sight. They're just taking it. Wait, yeah. There it is! Oh, he doesn't get it. They put it in at the last second so they can't kill the Farsight. But they still don't get it. Proxen goes down immediately. And there's Azania's there, so they can't really approach too much. Monster's going to throw the ult on with Azania's, and he'll be perfectly fine. That kill is going to be, or rather, turret in the mid. Trying to pull a sneaky teleport to get out of here. Otherwise, he's dead. Ooh, just outside that of the gravity field. Nope. Subjugate onto Bjergsen. But three's a crowd, and Seraph thinks so too. He goes down 40 seconds on the death timer for him. TSM get more free time on the map now. 5v4, split, and figure out how to fight those wrongs. Pearson, very, very low, gets knocked up. Seraph can get on him and bite, and it's actually going to be the kill going over Ninja. He's very low. There's a kill coming in for Lot. Haku Oster, or Brother Biofrost, strikes back. Sven on the outside, really just toying, looking for a bait, but. Envy knows their priority target. They know who they're going to focus. The blast from Haunter dodges. The end of the line coming in from Proxen, and it's a huge amount of damage because that would have killed Haunter, taking away a lot of the damage that TSM's fighting with right now. The tight accomplish taking out that inhibitor. So two inhibitors down means they have a lot of pressure to work with. Oh! Proxen going down. And Sven's Garen right back in the mix. You see this Rek'Sai all over, and we don't really talk about the map control too much, but the way Sven's Garen, or the way you can play in the lead is you have tunnels everywhere, and you and the team are right back in the mix when you need to be. You can see. And uh, soon to be Baron buff. Let's see if there's some kind of miracle. And nope. Ninja's not even gonna try and go over there, so. TSM Baron. Gonna join TSM Infernal Drake. Going in. Hanser, more than likely to try and fight that. Hakuo on the back, not huge to be hit by the arrow. When you can see Envy still somewhat want to take this fight. Running for the fountain, they're going to look for the home guards to get back, but they use every bit of HP now, and TSM's able to drain that to zero. Along with the inhibitors, all three are down. Actually, the mid one spawns back up as the Nexus turrets are going to be going down soon. TSM looking to pad the stats a little bit and get those fantasy points in for their fantasy friends. 30 minutes on the clock, 13 to 4. TSM very close to closing out game two with a few more touches on the Nexus. I believe 50 gold goes to double lift as TSM take down Envy 2 to 0. And in a very convincing fashion mm -hmm. at that. This is why everyone ranking TSM, not only because of the scoreboard at number one in the North American LCS, but the way that they destroy their opponents and have destroyed their opponents. Yeah. You know, this split, summer split has been TSM split so far. You know, Immortals did give them a run for their money. Cloud9 was able to make a good showing versus them, but Team Envy are gonna have to go back